Hello and welcome to Chemistry with Mr. Olson. Today we're going to do, we're going to take aqueous zinc ions, react them with aqueous hydroxide ions, and make a solid precipitate, that's a cloudiness in the solution, which is actually the ionic compound with uh, zinc and hydroxide ions in a two to one ratio. And uh, so it's a uh, a crystalline precipitate. And let's start by adding, let's add 10 drops of our zinc ion. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 drops of zinc. And these are, these are ions in solution, and it's clear as you can see. And we're going to add one drop of phenolphthalein indicator, which turns a beautiful pink when there are hydroxide ions present. But we haven't added any hydroxide ions, so it's not pink yet. And uh, what we've got right now would look something like this. Let's uh, clear this out of the way. Here we go. We've got the zinc and the phenolphthalein. Ten drops of zinc represented by these five zinc ions, and the phenolphthalein is present but not pink. And now let's add some hydroxide, aqueous hydroxide ions. So here, let's add one drop. And see, yeah, do you see a little pinkness there? It's hard to see. Two drops, three drops, four drops, five drops, six drops. Ah, now you see a little bit of pink. But notice, if I shake it, the pink goes away. And that's because we're forming the precipitate. That would look something like this. We've got, whoops, wrong one. We've got, we've added uh, six drops. We can even add uh, more. Let's add another six drops. And notice the pink goes away when we stir. Let's see. Oh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So notice we see a little bit of pink there, but if we stir, the pink goes away, and that's because the precipitate is forming, and so there's no free hydroxide. We've still got some free zinc ions. Now, let's continue and see how many it takes to get a permanent pink color. So here we go. One, let's see, that's two more. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and, but it goes away when we stir it. 17, 18, the pinkness goes away when we stir it. 19, 20, Mm -hmm. Let's gobble that all up. Let's add number 21. Number 21. The pink is starting to stay. Add another just to see if we get it clear. Now we're starting to see the real pink there. The pink is staying. So instead of all the zinc has now been used up, and we have free hydroxide ions which is making the phenolphthalein turn this beautiful pink that stays. And that's a titration, and that's, um, that's how we can figure out the ratio. Notice that was 21 was where the color changed. So, we, so 21 drops to 10 drops of zinc, about a 2 to 1 ratio, and uh, that since the hydroxide has a minus one charge, we can deduce the zinc has a plus two charge. And uh, that is our titration and our demonstration. Hope that helps. Have a nice day.